Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of What the Quote, and I am so excited about today's quote. I'm excited. I'm, I'm always excited about quotes because I have loved quotes from the very beginning. They've been very supportive and inspiring and motivating, and I hope that you are finding uh, the quotes that I talk about on What the Quote to be the same. So let's talk about this quote from Jonathan Hessen, which is the idea that something is holding you back is in itself a limiting belief in your abilities and your greatness. Listen, I'm telling you, this, I'm so excited about this quote, and here's why. Because there are times where... Um, we are thinking that the things that are holding us back are out there, out there. And it's people, it's places, it's things. And what this quote is bringing up for me is maybe the thing that is holding you back are your thoughts about your abilities and your greatness or the lack thereof, I should say. And so, so one of the things that I want to ask you is, what do you think is holding you back from your passion, your greatness, from leaving the world better than what you found it? What is holding you back? And is that what is really holding you back? Or is it your thought about your abilities and your capabilities. Because here's the thing. Some of us, we think that we're too old. Somebody's already done it. I'm not smart enough. I don't have a college degree. I mean, we have a whole, I'm married, I'm divorced. I got kids. I don't have kids. There's a whole litany of reasons as to why we think we're being held back. And I want to push back against you a little bit to ask you, is that really the case? Or is it really your thought about it? Here's the other thing. If that thing that you thought is holding you back really was not holding you back, what would you be doing? Because it's my thought that nine times out of 10, the thing that or things that we think is holding us back really is not. Nobody cares about your education, <laughs> to be honest. Nobody cares. Listen, I have several degrees and not never, ever, I'm telling you, has somebody been like, hey, can I see your degrees? Ever. Nobody has ever asked me that. Ever. And so to me, I have my own specific reason reasons for getting a degree, but nobody really cares. People want to know that you have... Uh, you can make an impact in their lives, that you have something to say, you can solve a problem, that you are showing them compassion. They don't care about your degrees or how old you are. They don't care about any of that. And so um, if the thing that you think is holding you back was not there, what would you be doing? That's question number two. And Another question that I want to ask you is, what is one step that you can take that can push you from where you are to where you want to be? Because the reality is, that's the magic. The magic is in the steps. The magic is in you changing your thought process about taking the step. I can remember, and I'm sure you've heard that there, there was a quote by somebody that said, um, the, time, the time is going to pass. I don't know what the quote was, but the time is going to pass, you know, because people were like, hey, you know, uh, I'm too old to go to school. It's going to take me four years. Regardless, the four years is going to pass anyway. So you might as well do the thing that's going to take you four years so that at least at the end of the four years, <laughs> You have something to show for the four years that have passed. That, that is the key. That is the brilliance. That is the magic of Jonathan Heston's quote, which is the idea that something is holding you back 
is in itself a limiting belief. Now, let's talk a little bit about limiting beliefs. I define limiting beliefs as a belief that you have about yourself, that there's no evidence. You just think there's evidence. Here's what I mean. So I was talking to somebody and they were saying, you know, gosh, you know, I wish that I had gotten on YouTube when I was when I was in my 20s because there's no telling what. Listen, it, 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 that does not matter. It doesn't matter how old you are. You could be 103 getting on YouTube and be a YouTube sensation just like that. It doesn't matter. But you, the belief that you have about your age is that it matters, but you don't have any evidence of that. You have no evidence that that is the case. That is a limiting belief. It is a belief that you've told yourself about something that you are allowing to keep you stuck, to keep you right where you are. They don't want me to do it. They are against me. I don't have any support. Here's one thing that I really wish people would stop doing and focusing on is my family and friends don't support me. Well, here's the thing. And friends. Okay, but if you're selling something, that's 20 things that you sold. Okay, so now what you going to do? You think that you need their support. But the reality is, if you are in a business, you there's a whole marketing and advertising machine that is required. That's gonna that you're that's gonna have to push you past your friends and family, okay? Because even if they bought, if everybody bought something from you, that's what twenty five things. So now what are you gonna do? You think that you need them. You think that them supporting you is a value. And what I am asking you to be curious about is, do you really need that? Is that really that important? Because what you, what you, sh you know, I'll invite you <laughs> to focus on the bigger picture in developing who your core audience is. Whose problem are you solving? Listen, I know we're not talking about business, but I'm just throwing that in there just for kicks and giggles. Um, so the limiting belief is something that you really need to think about and ask yourself, is this really true? And if it wasn't true, what would I be doing? What steps would I be taking? Who would I be connecting with? What would I be creating? What would I be writing? What would I, who would I be empowering? That is going to move you from your the place where you are now to you leaving this place better than you found it. That's the beauty of um, Jonathan Heston's quote. And here's this last little nugget where he says, a limiting belief in your abilities and your greatness. Do you know that you are great? Do you have any idea how great you really are? Or are you focusing on your inabilities, the things that you can't do, the struggles, the, the, the negativity? Because that is not going to get you to where you need to be. Focusing on your abilities and your greatness will get you from where you are to leaving the world better than you found it. Thank you so much for this week's episode of What the Quote. Quote. Listen, subscribe, like, share, follow, comment, do all the things. See you next week.